All right, welcome to today's vlog. I'm your man Akeem McCall here to continue and wrap things up with all my top players for each position for the 2012 fantasy football year. Today, gonna finish things off with my top 10 kickers. Now, no diss to the kickers, I decided to go top 10 instead of my usual top 20 like my other videos, but this is a position that most people are least concerned with their fantasy football teams, and obviously nobody picks up a second kicker in, the, in their NFL um, drafts, so I had to go with top 10. Also, these kickers are pretty much even, just about all the kickers are pretty much even in points, except for my number one player, and I will mention him on, on this blog. Starting at number 10, I'm going to go with Neil Rackers of the Washington Redskins. Now, last season, he played seventh, but they have a new quarterback in Robert Griffin III, a rookie, their first round draft selection, and he's still in a development stage, so I'm not sure how well he's going to perform this season and give Rackers some opportunities to make kicks. Now, Neil Rackers is an excellent kicker, do not get me wrong, but I'm not 100% I'm, I'm certain how well that offense is going to work this season with the new quarterback for the Skins. At number 9, I'm going to go with Rob Baronis of the Tennessee Titans. Now, coming into the 2012-2013 season, he's actually ranked third overall, um, highest in NFL history in accuracy with 86.3% his kicks made. He's an excellent kicker, and that offense is starting to get things a little bit balanced. Hopefully, Chris Johnson steps it up this season. He had a slump year last year, but that passing game, we had a did um with, with Tim um Matt Hasselback and um Jake Locker um mixing in the in the uh, for the passing offense and with CJ Chris Johnson in the mix at the running back position both these two um both of these two um levels in offense can have a good balance and I think with that um Rob Baronis would have a lot of opportunities at number eight I'm gonna go with Robbie Gold of the Chicago Bears now we all know about they just signed Matt Forte he's an excellent running back he would definitely march the ball down the field he could be a good workhorse but but the main reason I had to put him at number eight is because of Brandon Marshall. He's recounting his relationship that he already had back in Denver with quarterback Jay Cutler. And I think with this offense, they could get, get definitely get the, get the ball down the field and at least get a lot of field goals. So Rob, uh, Rob Barone, so. Robbie Gold will definitely prosper on that opportunity. At number seven, I'm going to go with Mike Nugent of the Cincinnati Bengals. This kid is an accurate kicker. I like him a lot, and especially with a good offense coming into their second season with, led by Andy Dalton, he would definitely get, get the ball down the field and get more extra points, some touchdowns, and field goal opportunities. At number six, I'm going to go with Mason Crosby of the Green Bay Packers. Now, I think he's a pretty good kicker. He could probably crack the top five, but that offense is just too good and they get a lot of touchdowns. So which means I think Mason Crosby is going to get a lot of his points off of extra points on from field goals after the touchdowns and not field goal opportunities. But this still is a great out on offense led by Aaron Rodgers, the NFL MVP last season, and they will march the ball down the field. They will get opportunity, give Crosby opportunities to kick field goals, but I think they're going to score more touchdowns than field goals. So most of those extra points is going to be one point. So I had to bump him back at number six. At number and he actually fixed, finished sixth overall last season, according to ESPN. At number five, I'm going to go with Dan Bailey of the Dallas Cowboys. Now, he had an impressive rookie season last season, and it showed that he has a lot of a potential to become an elite um, NFL kicker. So I had to put him at number five. He finished fifth last season. At number four, I'm going to go with Sebastian Janikowski of the Oakland Raiders. He's a great kicker. He still has a strong leg, a, 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 strong leg, a seasoned vet. Now, he did miss that kick in the opening game against the Dallas Cowboys in that preseason opener, but I think as the season progresses, he's going to give you some good, valuable points as a kicker. At number three, I'm going to go with Steven Skakowski of the New England Patriots. With that offense led by Tom Brady, there is no way he should not crack the top five this season for kickers for um, in fantasy play. At number two, I'm going to go with John Casey of the New Orleans Saints. That This is another explosive offense. Drew Brees, Offensive Player of the Year last season, NFL record holder for most passing yards in the season, and because of all these passing yards, they definitely have no problems, good ease, in getting down the field and giving John Casey field goal opportunities. At number one, this was an obvious pick for me, my San Francisco 49er, that, um, David Akers. Now he and he was actually 32 points separated from the nearest kicker and points. He ended up getting 182 points kicking, according to ESPN. He's an excellent kicker, and with that defense, that could definitely give um that even helps out D David Rackers getting an opportunity because of that defense. Kick, um, getting um 
forcing punts and causing turnovers that offense gets back onto the field still in the development stage with Alex Smith he had a pretty good season on the coach the first year coach um, Jim Harbaugh I think they're going to improve this season there's just a little question mark with that receiving court but they will still get the ball down the field and David Akers still has that leg he's an all pro kicker remember back in the day when he was a Philadelphia Eagles a lot of people thought he was going to drop when he went to San Francisco but he ended up being number one overall and he was in my top 10 last season and he He's my number one guy this year. A couple of honorable mentions need to talk about. I'm starting with Matt Bryant of the Atlanta Falcons. They have a great offense, good kicker. I like him a lot. And Jason um, Hansen of the Detroit Lions. Now, that offense, they had a break year break through performance last season with Matthew Stafford passing for over 5,000 yards. I kind of question how he's going to perform this year. He might not make that 5,000 yard mark, but I don't know. We, we'll see. Hopefully that wasn't a fluke last year. I highly doubt it. But Jason Hansen, he's still a good kicker. Now my sleeper this year, I'm going to go with Shane Graham of the Houston Texans. Yes, they do have Randy Bullock, the rookie out of Texas A&M. He was a Lou Groser Award winner for best place kicker in college football. But Shane Graham still has a good leg, and he missed a lot of last season due to injuries. And he's actually been outperforming Bullock in this preseason, in the preseason battle for the um, top kicker spot. And I think because of that, and they have such an excellent offense with Arian Foster and Matt Schaub coming back as their star quarterback, I think Shane Graham should make some good, have a lot of opportunities to make a a lot of field goals and I think he's going to be due for a prosperous season but he's still in that battle with Randy Bullock but I think Shane Graham does have the job because of he is outperforming him thus far in the preseason he should be that starting kicker for the Houston Texans so I'm going to go with Shane Graham of Houston now that wraps things up with all my top players I'm going to catch you guys a little bit later on today to give you some last minute tips for your drafts for this year's fantasy football year and I'll catch you guys a little bit later thank you for watching today's vlog from Franchise Sports Talk. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.